Good afternoon. We are getting a new look at how New Mexico State basketball coaches responded to the investigation into the shooting involving one of their players at UNM. Today, state police video shows officers serving search warrants at the NMSU basketball facility the day NMSU played UTEP. News 13's Ariana Kraft is here with that. It was November 30th when state police arrived at the Pan American Center in Las Cruces. They encountered assistant head coach Dominique Taylor in the parking lot looking for his phone. Hey, Mr. Taylor, we're going to give you a form with the return of the inventory. Right before you leave, there's a little form saying that we got the phone. Investigators then went inside the facility. Police were serving warrants looking for a phone and other items. Police were also looking for NMSU players Marcellus Avery, Issa Muhammad, and Anthony Roy, trying to serve search warrants for items in their possession. State police say three players helped Mike Peak after the shooting. They arrived to the UNM campus in a yellow Camaro. And the gun Peak had that night was put in the trunk. Just minutes before Peak had exchanged gunfire with Brandon Travis, who, along with his friend, set a trap for Peak. That gun was handed over to authorities 12 hours later from assistant head coach. When police arrived at the basketball offices, they were asking to get a hold of those three players. Do you have a way to get a hold of these three players? I don't. So they'll be at the game tonight, though, right? They're going to be at the game tonight, though? Yeah, they'll be at the game. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. The Bernalillo County District Attorney's Office says they are still continuing to receive evidence regarding this case and will evaluate the materials as they are submitted. None of the NMSU players are, or coaches are currently facing any charges. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Ariana. Now, the three players were suspended for their last game. That was earlier this week. We did reach out to NMSU to see if those suspensions would be extended. We have not heard back.